So I got a question last night from a student request to do this Alex topic, setting up the math for a two-step quantitative problem. So what I've done is I've, I've, I've uh, copied this and I've put it over to my whiteboard. So I'm going to go back and forth when I do this, right? You see what I'm doing? Here's the real thing. Here's the copy. This is on my whiteboard. So let's do this problem. Um, first thing I do, of course, when I see a problem like this is panic. There's just lots of information here. Um, I think what I'll do first, after I panic, get my head, is I'll say, all right, looking, looks like we're looking for moles. So I'm going to set, probably going to set up a picket fence. So I'm going to write equals moles. And I'm going to just say, all right, I don't know how much this is going to be, but a two-step quantitative problem is probably longer than a one-step quantitative problem. So I'm going to make a bunch of steps here. And I know that moles is going to be in my solution somewhere because it's in my answer, right? All right, so let's let's interpret this question. I'll put it maybe all my stuff over here. Uh, chemical, a certain chemical reaction gives me 370 kilojoules of heat per mole. Okay, so it looks like that's going to be kilojoules per mole, right? It's in a different color is equal to 307 and this is I don't know some kind of a heat all right so let's just say Q just making up a, a, um, a letter suppose some moles of the reactants are put into a calorimeter it takes who knows what that is right it takes 4.31 joules of heat to raise the temperature all right so another another unit joules and it's 4.31. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. I used Q for that. Let's use uh, H for this. Okay, just making up letters. It takes 4.31 joules of heat energy to raise the temperature of this calorimeter by one degree Celsius. Ah, wait a second. That's joules per degree Celsius. Okay, so that's not a heat anymore, but anyway to raise, right, you see 4.31 joules per one degree centigrade, that's the trick right there, I bet, right? That's the thing that's going to be challenging, I think. Now the reaction is run until the re reactant is gone, all right, so confused, and the temperature of the calorimeter is found to raise, okay, hmm, so it looks like a change in temperature is going to be 9.8 degrees Celsius, so degrees Celsius, let's go back to black, 9.8 equals, and this is a change in temperature. I'm going to use delta because that's what people would use for this, but I'm guessing if you're a student in this class, you're not sure what to put there, and I say it doesn't really matter what you put there, right? We're interested in these units over here. Okay, now set the math up, but don't do any of it. Oh, that's great. All right, so I've got moles here. Now I'm just going to set it up, like I said, right? I'm turning my... Um, Turning my mind off, I've got, I need moles in my solution, so, I'm sorry, I've got moles in my answer, so I need it in my solution. And here's my moles right here. What is moles related to? Aha. It's related to, it's related to kilojoules. You see that? Moles and kilojoules are related to each other, okay? And there we got it. Now, there's no kilojoules in my answer, so I'm going to have to put kilojoules here. All right. Now, I already used this number. I can't use it again. Right? There's my, uh, there's my upside down kilojoules per mole. So, aha, okay, here's a joules. So I'm going to convert to joules because I've got this, this unit, right, um, prefix. So now there's no joules in my answer. So I'm going to put joules here. You got, do you see what I'm doing? Probably should be showing this here all along, right? I need moles in my answer. I've said this, but let's, let's circle it. I need it there. I need kilojoules not to be there, so that's why I put it here. So it could cancel. I went up here and said, oh, look at kilojoules per mole is going to go to, this is, I'm not saying this clearly, am I? Let me just say nothing. Kilojoules crosses off. Joules crosses off, right? This is really a horrible presentation. What is joules related to? What is joules related to? It's related to degree centigrade, right? You see that? And there's no degree centigrade in my answer, so I'm going to have to cross that off. Let's put that there. Now, I've already used this number. I, 
I've already used this number. Okay, let's use that one now. There, there it is. And this is just a, this is just a measurement, so it's over one. All right. So it looks like I've crossed that off now too, right? Joules got crossed off. Sorry, I crossed that one off earlier. Now degree centigrade get crossed off, and I'm left with moles, which is what I wanted. All right, now let's put all the numbers in, and we'll see that this makes sense. Where do I find degree centigrade by itself? Right here, 9.8. Okay, where do I find joules per degree centigrade? Right here, that's 4.31. Where do I find kilojoules per joule, per joule? Ooh, I don't have that on here, but I can find it here. See, I'm going back and forth to this, remember that? Let's go here to data, SI prefixes. Kilo is there, okay, 10 to the third. Okay, so kilo, one kilo is 10 to the, oops, three, right? That's what kilo means, kilo, 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 kilo. All right, so we've got that there. And what about my kilojoules per mole? So this 307 kilojoules for every one mole, this is where students will sometimes put, they'll put the 307 up here. If you're not careful, you may be tempted to do that. It's really 307 kilojoules per one mole, right? And there's my solution. I'm gonna go here, 9.8 degrees Celsius, and here, 4.31 joules per degree Celsius, right? And here, kilojoules per, one kilojoule per 10 to the three joules. And here, one over 307 kilojoules mole. And that's gonna be this, the, the uh, that's there. I have set up the math for a two-step quantitative problem. Now I'm going to go back and actually, you know what? I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm going to go back and forth. I want to type this in because I want to do it the way I did it. There's lots of ways to to form this. Parentheses, 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 parentheses. Right? That's what I had. Let's go back and forth. Yep. There's four of them. 9.8, 9.8 degrees Celsius. What's the next one? 4.31 joules per 4.31 joules per degree Celsius, right? And the next one was a fraction, one kilojoule over a thousand joules, right? And the next one was one mole. Let's do this. It's a fraction. One mole over, what was it? 307. 307. Seven point kilojoules. All right. So let's just make sure we got that in there correctly. 9.8, 4.31. 9.8, 4.31. One over 1,000. There's my one over 1,000. And then one over 307. Okay. Degrees Celsius cross off, joules cross off, kilojoules cross off, and I'm left with moles. And that's what I wanted, moles consumed. All right, oops, oh crud. Ah, crud, it's the same thing, ah. Okay, well, convince yourself this is the same thing. I hit solve instead of check. See, 9.81, 4.31, uh, 10 to the third, and this is on this is on the this is in the denominator, so it's really the reciprocal of that. Convince yourself this is the same thing. I want I meant to hit that green. All right. Okay, that's a bit of a rough video, but hopefully that's helpful. If you want another one, please ask. Good luck.